Hello, I am Munir Hawk and welcome to Android App Development Tutorial. Today's topic are the two important Android architecture components, namely view model and live data. We will learn view model and live data and make a simple uh, word puzzle app step by step in some upcoming tutorials. As always, learning uh, new things along with developing new project is always fun. I hope you will also enjoy it. So therefore, start. Uh, uh, so before I start any coding or whatever, I would like to show you our final product and how it looks like. So this is our app, which is very simple. And when I uh, press play, it will give a specific time. In our case, it is only 15 seconds. And within the 15 seconds, I have to uh, put a character to put exact character to make a um, word so in our case this and okay my only score is one let me uh, play again so so I can put here and okay and I can skip here skip here and I can put some and for skip a uh, certain number of points will be deducted and if I give a right answer it will be uh, one marks will be added so this is a very super simple app but uh, we have applied some um, Android architecture component like uh, view model and live data here and uh, in some upcoming projects we will learn uh, these two arch important architecture component and throughout this tutorial we will learn some interesting things like view model live data view model factory data binding using view model and live data live data map transformation and many more so without further talking let's start developing our project first of all we have a starter project for this tutorial because i want to keep this uh, tutorial short so uh, there is a starter project and there is a uh, download link for this starter project in the video description please download the starter project from that link so when I open the starter project in Android Studio, we will see something like that and we will explore it here and here we can easily see uh, there is a uh, activity and three fragments namely title fragment, fragment puzzle and fragment game over and there is also a uh, data class named word puzzle data which holds some data like question gap one three uh, basically three string string uh, parameter and when I run this project it looks like this and this uh, title we see in the uh, in the screen is basically the uh, fundamentally the title fragment here and this is the uh, button play action uh, we have used navigation graph here and i would like also like to show you the navigation graph here and there is a title fragment fragment puzzle and fragment game over so going back to the title fragment and when i press the uh, play button here and we can see uh, the fragment puzzle here so fragment puzzle inside fragment puzzle uh, we have some app logic and first logic is load data there is a function named load data and load data basically uh, creates a array list of what puzzle data this this data class this is the data class this is the data class I'd like to close the title fragment and app navigation also so what puzzle data there are uh, this is the initialization and after the initialization I shuffle this uh, total array list and the next function will be next word which is basically uh, uh, removing the uh, removing the uh, uh, array list from the index 0 and when the word and when the list is array list is empty the game will the game over function will be uh, provoked and I will later uh, uh, explain the game over function and another another thing let let me show one example 
so here is procast here is and when this is built by this question gap one and this this is the string appear here and this is the correct answer so if i play if i put the correct answer so and press ok it the score will be and uh, the score will be updated so same thing is here ex this is the ex and this is the other part of the string and if i uh, uh, put the right answer here the score will be increased but if i skip one thing the score will be decreased and there this thing is skip is uh, skip is basically control from here and there are two other function name update word and update score so we go to the update word this is the update word this is basically when this uh, word is updated uh, this function will control this word thing and the update score will update the score here so we go to skip skip and this is the game over fragment or fragment game over so this is basically our app and this is very simple thing so please download the uh, uh, starter project and the actual coding uh, uh, will start from the next tutorial please watch and uh, if you like the video please give a like so i am signing off please watch my uh, upcoming tutorials thank you